Oh, sweet. All right, we have... Okay, we do have a fire hydrant. You guys are blocking the fire hydrant. Oh. <laughs> you know, uh, you're really not supposed to block those things, right? Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Flashing Lights. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today, there has been an update to this game. So, it seems like the, uh, the fire department here, they've gotten a pretty significant update, including several new calls, new locations for fires. So, we're going to be messing around with a bit of that. Uh, they've also changed some more, uh, some more graphics options, which the game is looking better almost each time I play it. And another thing that they've changed, and this might not be significant for many, but you see the, uh, the AI traffic there? It's that, uh, always that white Crown Vic. Well, they've added more AI traffic. I think there's actually like vans and SUVs driving around. Uh, now if we can only get some more NPCs to walk around. But anyways, if you're enjoying flashing lights on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's do this. So we're going to be taking on some new calls here today. We've got a building fire call. Let's go and accept that. Uh, we'll see where this one is. Hopefully this isn't the one that we've already done. Uh, there's supposedly like three or four new locations for uh, the building fire plus there's new uh, container fire locations so that's gonna be pretty cool let's go ahead and get everything activated here engines up there we go uh, oh I thought we were I guess we were already cranked there there we go uh, they've also updated the horn on the fire truck which it sounds a lot more like a fire truck horn like uh, hold on let's there we go Oh, really? You gonna jaywalk right in front of me? I mean, technically they're in the crosswalk, but whatever. So yeah, you can see some of the new traffic uh, going around. Now, another thing that they've added, there is now a test branch for multiplayer. So I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna see some multiplayer flashing lights here very, very soon. Get out the way! Oh, no! All right, we've got a, a vehicle accident here. We might need to call out the EMS. Now, as far as the cops and EMS, I don't believe they really got anything changed to them. I can always check, but I think most of this has been with the, uh, the fire department here. So, let's go ahead. Move, move. Coming up on the fire. What does it look like? Oh, this is a factory fire. Oh, sweet. All right, we have... Okay, we do have a fire hydrant. You guys are blocking the fire hydrant. Oh, <laughs> You know, uh, you're really not supposed to block those things, right? So, there we go. Let's go ahead. Oh, uh, I hope that car alarm turns off. Stupid people. Alright, so we're responding to a uh, factory fire. Looks like just this one building is on fire here. So, let's go ahead, get around. Uh, did they give us any new tools? That would be kind of cool. Let's see. Now, we still have just the water hose and fire extinguisher. Uh, anything else new? No. So it seems like we're still just gonna hose this thing. So let's get the water hose out. All right, here's our uh, here's our fire hydrant here. Let's go and hook in. All right, let's get over here and fight this fire. I'm so glad they finally added some new locations here. It was just kind of weird having that one building fire call. All right, so it appears like is this an air conditioning unit? Hold on, let's get the unit out first. It's kind of what that looks like, or maybe it's a power box. I don't know, would you, uh, you would probably cut off electricity in the area if this was some sort of electrical fire. Uh, what is that? Uh, I'm not really sure. Is that a power box? Not sure. Alright, let's go ahead and hit the, uh, hit the windows here. Let's go ahead and start with this side over here. Come on. Get this fire out. So yeah, we're gonna respond to a ton of fire calls today. I don't think they've changed the vehicle incident call for the firefighter, so... I think pretty much it's going to be the container fires and the building fires that we'll respond to. And we'll see the uh, the new locations here. There's that one. Alright, got one more window to go here and this fire should be out. I really do hope they add some interior fires. Like, I would love to be able to like go into a house, maybe break down the door with an axe. Uh, that would be totally sweet. Alright, there we go. So that one is taken care of. Ah, yes. That was awesome. All right, let's go ahead. <laughs> These people's car. Yeah, that's a, that was a nice Camaro and uh, is that like a Mitsubishi, I believe? Uh, let's hose those down. Clean them up a little bit. Sorry about that, folks. Don't park in front of the hydrant next time. Ding-dongs. 
All right, we got another building fire call. Let's go and accept it. Up oh, on, I gotta put up this. There we go. Let's go and accept that call. That is, it doesn't give us addresses still. It does give us a call ID, which I guess. Oh, there goes that car. I guess that'll uh, actually kind of tell us which fires are which. Hopefully, this isn't the city fire. This actually looks like it's a uh, maybe outside of the city here. So the fire department's gonna be really, really busy today. So let's go ahead and crank those back on. All right, check the intersection. Another thing that they've added, uh, the firefighters now have a first-person cam for the car. Uh, the dials, uh, none of the speedometers or anything, uh, none of that's working at the moment. But hopefully that will be soon. All right, yeah, this definitely looks like it's outside of the city. So, oh, this is up on this hill. Oh, this is going to be really awkward. Actually, I get confused by this road. Sorry, people. Move out the way. Actually, there's nobody here. These are all parked cars. Who parks their car on the side of the street like that? It looks ridiculous. All right, we need to actually take a left here. And then we're going to go up the... Uh, oh, we're going up this mountain. What could possibly be on fire? All right, we are code three. Oh, there's a diner up here. Could it be a diner? Or maybe it's a gas station. Oh, boy. Oh, come on, turn. Oh, this thing turns like a tank. Oh, we got to go up this winding hill. Let's give you guys a little look at some of the uh, change graphics, too. Looks very nice from up here. Uh, let's see. A little ways to go. It looks like it's actually quite a ways off the road. You know, we'll probably actually uh, do another episode as the cop because all these new NPC cars, I wonder if it's changed anything. Uh, that's got me a bit curious. Come on, move. All right, there is a, there's a house over here. Could that be what's on fire? I think we got a house fire here. Oh, this road is just terrible for this fire truck. All right, we need to blow through this yield sign. Don't turn, stay there. Yeah, this is a house fire. Okay, so we have like a couple houses up here. Ooh, this is gonna be awkward. All right, can I pull straight off of this? I know there's not a hydrant out here, so we're gonna be doing this with a, uh, Oh, is there a hydrant? No, I don't see one. So, yeah, we're definitely going to be doing this with a extinguisher. All right, so we are responding. Let's go ahead, get out of here. Let's go ahead and grab that uh, extinguisher in the back. Oh, that's going to be so awesome if we get the guys and we start uh, riding around and uh, taking on fires because everybody can ride, I guess, in the same vehicle. There we go. It's fire extinguisher. Looks like we have a... Is this their garage? What is this? This is like a really odd place. Oh, this is like another electrical fire. Something here. Like a power box or something's on fire. Oh, boy. Oh, this one's not going to be uh, easy to put out. I see three hot spots. I guess there's a couple on the other side. Come on. Take this fire out. There we go. Okay, got another little hot spot down here by the vent. And... Oh, boy, we are done. Now I'm really curious, are some of the fires actually going to be on the opposite side of the map? Maybe out by the uh, beach area? That could be cool. Alright, so another thing that they've added, you can finally uh, get the uh, full map here on screen. Kind of give you guys an idea as to how big this map actually is. So you can see where the uh, three locations are for the, uh, the PD, EMS, and the FD. Hopefully they add another couple stations for each of these. That way, uh, it's safe if you're the police, you don't have to drive all the way back into town. If you arrest people on the opposite side of the map. So, we're uh, waiting for another call here. We've got a container fire call. Okay, let's go and accept that. Where is this at? Oh, this one's actually in the city. Now, the last time we did a container fire, that was actually uh, in the beach area. So, it's glad I'm kind of glad to see a new one here. So, let's go ahead and turn those on. Let's crank that up. All right. Uh, oh, it's going to be fun getting back down this hill. Oh, boy. Oh, we need to turn around here. Swing it. All right, look both ways. I'm also watching the, oh, this is gonna, oh, don't high center, come on, get us out of here. All right, we're good. I'm also uh, watching these uh, call IDs. So every time you get a call, you'll get a new ID with it. And I think I could tell which ones we've already been to. I am kind of curious if the vehicle one would switch up. Uh, I do like doing the, uh, the vehicle accident calls with the firefighters. Also, what could be uh, something that would be fun if they had the multiplayer, like say you get a vehicle accident, you would have to actually bring EMS and fire over. So say fire would have to free the victim and EMS would have to transport the victim. I don't know how that's going to work in multiplayer. 
Uh, I think we'll figure out pretty soon though. All right, we are still responding code three to a, I'm assuming it's gonna be a dumpster. So we are going to a dumpster fire. Let's go ahead, get out the way, I'm coming. Oh, this is gonna be awkward, watch out. Oh, oh there went a sign. Hey, you can move some of the signs. All right, so we're pulling up on location. Where's this at? Is this in the back alleyway or? No, it's still up here. Oh, okay, I see smoke. Uh, let's see, move. Oh, this is a, uh, this is a construction site. It is a dumpster fire. Looks like it's at a construction site. All right. So yeah, this is uh, where I'd have multiplayer. Maybe somebody was uh, would be a cop and they would block the street off for us here. Uh, do we have a hydrant? This is, oh yeah, we do. I would say this is probably not hydrant worthy, but we're gonna go ahead and do it anyways. Uh, it would be nice to see some vehicle fires. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Let's see, let's go fire, water hose. All right, we're gonna hook up right over here. You know, it's almost tempting to hit that uh, Camaro out of the way, even though it's not, I guess you could say it's directly in it. It's not impeding uh, my progress to the uh, hydrant, but still. Uh, there's three hot spots in this? Uh, I only see one. I guess there's a couple to the side here. All right, and boom. That container fire is contained. Get it? Oh, that was a bad joke. All right, so that fire, that's another location. So we've done two of the new buildings. And we've done one of the new container. Now, there's six locations, I believe, for container fires. So, uh, there's still plenty of those to go. I still like the building fires a bit better. Oh, here's another one. Let's respond to this. Where is this one at? Uh, this one's downtown. This one might be the original one. I'm not sure. Uh, let's go ahead and respond here. This would be the busiest fire department ever. All right, coming up on the scene here. This is... Is this a new one? Uh, I'm not seeing smoke yet. We're right on the scene though. Where's the fire? Is it on this side of the building? Oh yeah, this is a new one. All right. Ooh, this is a really awkward turn. What the heck is on fire? This is a container fire, is it not? It says building. Oh, the side of the building's on fire too. Okay, so let's go and deactivate those. Uh, where's our hydrant at? Uh oh, um, that's a good question. All right, dude in the Chevy truck, you need to uh, get off my rear here. Let's go on. Uh, back up here. I don't see a hydrant hookup. Oh, this could be awkward. All right, let's get out. Let's assess the situation here. We have a container fire. The side of the building's on fire. We don't have a hookup back here, do we? Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm looking for a hydrant. Maybe there's one right around the corner. I would like to hi uh, hook this up hose-wise before I try to fight this. So I don't think a uh, I don't think an extinguisher is going to reach those windows. All right, hydrant, hydrant. It's got to be one around the corner somewhere. Now would be the ideal time to have a pump truck here. Uh, that needs to be a feature soon. I don't see hydrant, hydrant. I don't see one. All right, we're going to be grabbing, I guess, the... Uh, I wonder if I can climb up there. I need a ladder or something. Uh, let's see. There's not a hydrant. Oh, there's one down the street. You know, I'm going to take advantage of the infinite hose here. And what was that? Just heard some tire screeching. Uh, let's go and grab this. Uh, no, not that. I want the hose. All right, there's the hose. All right, we are gonna run this across the street here. This is. Uh, I don't think it would work like this, but I'm not sure. Okay, I can hook up to that hose. Let's go ahead and run the line over here. Uh, well, that works good enough. All right, so let's go ahead and hit the top of this fire real quick. We need a bucket truck. Uh, this probably isn't quite high enough for one, but still. That would be pretty cool. There's that. There's eight hot spots on this? Where are the other ones at? I see the uh, the dumpster probably doesn't have six, does it? Oh, the, the building behind the dumpster, all that's on fire too. Uh, it's a little hard to see over here. Oh, let's move over to the side a bit. There we go. Let's try to get close to this fire. There we go. Do we have a first person now? No, I don't have a first person on the uh, just walking around. That would be a... Uh, Something that would be cool in the future, too. I like how you can go first person inside the vehicles, but being able to do that on foot would be uh, pretty awesome. Especially in a tight alley like this. Alright, hitting the bottom. It looks like that might be an AC unit or something. Uh, somebody's got some really faulty wiring around this town. Somebody needs to, to get on that. Uh, fix that up. 
Alright, so let's go ahead and hit this. This is probably the source of the fire right here. So we're gonna hit that side of it. There we go. Come on. There we go. And we got this little corner piece here. And that should be it. So uh, raise a little up here. All right, and boom, fire is taken care of. Sweet. Ah, uh, thankfully we have the big infinite hose. That is cool. Uh, thank you for being patient, sir, and allowing me to fight that fire. Dude's just hanging out. He's just chilling. He was probably here for the show. All right, looks like we have a container fire call. Let's see where this one's at. Ah, this one's a little further away now. This one looks like it's kind of out... Uh, maybe up on that mountain, so this is probably the last call we're gonna take here today uh, Since really it's a lot of just different locations for these fires uh, That's really changed, but we'll probably return uh, with some multiplayer like I said And we might do some more police stuff because I'm kind of curious if anything's changed now that we have a bunch of different uh, NPC cars uh, That might be something. Oh, I was not gonna make that corner. Oh, I'm a terrible driver. All right, we're skipping through here. Move! <laughs> uh, I bet you that guy in the uh, van probably soiled himself. You know what? I think we're going the wrong way. All right, coming up here, we're going to be taking a right in the container fire. Looks like it might be back in one of these warehouses. Move! There you go. Uh, let's see. Does that gas station have an interior? Oh, I think it did. All right. Uh, it should be right here. Move out the way. We're pulling into this business. Uh, there it is. Yes. Another dumpster fire. We don't have a hookup around here, do we? No, I don't see one. All right, let's turn that off. I got a blinker on, don't I? Oh, my right blinker's on. All right. Let's go ahead and pull out of here. Should be a simple one. Would a, uh, would a dumpster fire like this, would that be a code three? Should you respond really fast or maybe be a little more careful? I don't know the difference really between Code 2 and Code 3. I'm assuming Code 1 is just, you know, you casually roll up on the scene. Uh, oh, let's get this. I think both dumpsters are on fire. So we have a dual dumpster fire. Alright, finishing this call up here. And there was uh, two dumpster fires right there. Sweet. I still feel like we missed a building call, but I'm not really sure which one it is. Everyone that I've responded back to has been a re uh, repeat. Not unless they're counting the, the original building fire call as one of them. Not 100% sure. But anyways, folks, I think that is going to wrap it up for this episode of Flashing Lights. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Uh, really cool to see them updating this uh, quite regularly. And it was nice to actually have some varied calls now as far as locations. So, uh, if you guys want to see some more flashy lights on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And let me know down in the comments below, do you want to see us try some multiplayer? I think that could be really, really fun. And maybe goofy, I don't know. We'll have to see how that works. But yeah, hope you guys have a great day. We will see you guys next time in flashing lights.